Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Anita from Five Star Fonts and today we're going to go over a very simple procedure of adding snaps to basically anything. We're going to use our in the hoop pieced bib, but this tutorial is perfect for anything you want to add snaps to. Snaps come in four parts and we'll go over what each part is and how they work. First though I'd like to say that a lot of people are fearful of using snaps. I know I used to be. Um, I had the plier ones and you had to have so much strength in your hands to make the snaps connect that a lot of times they would come off. They just wouldn't install well. But we have a solution. The snap source snap setter tool and their wonderfully multicolored snaps they have available are perfect and so so simple to use and I think that when we're finished with this tutorial you will no longer have any fears of adding snaps. So the snap setter tool, we'll talk about it first, it comes in three parts. This is the top part, then the center part, and the bottom part. You notice that there's a little indentation here and there's this little thing that sticks up that as you can see this will slide on top of. Snaps require four parts. This is a bib that has already had the snaps installed. Snaps again, there's four parts. You've got the cap which has prongs on it. This is an example of a cap and you notice when I turn it over it has the prongs. On the other side you have an open area that has an indentation in it. This is the socket. This is what on the other side of the bib the male end of the snap snaps into the socket. And then finally on the back side we have a prong that is open on the back. And here's an example of what the prong looks like open on the back. So what we will do is we will actually install the snaps on a bib Again, we're using another one of the piece bibs from Five Star Fonts. Because we can't, because the digitized circles for the snap locations are only on the front of the bib, they're not on the back because the back is lining and it's not stitched during the in the hoop process. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to just mark the centers of the snap placement circles on the back of the bib and it's very simple to do that. I just take a straight pin and you probably can't see the stitches because I used pink thread and they're just not easy to see. But what I do is take a pin and push it right into the center of the snap circle and do the same thing on the other side. Now I turn it over and use my favorite fabric marking pin. Just make a small mark on the back on each side and you'll see a little bit later on why it's important that we do this. So remove your pins and now we're ready to add snaps. I've chosen a pink snap cap because it goes with my fabric and we will install the cap first. The cap, as we showed earlier, works with the socket. To install the cap, center it over the circle that's been digitized or if you're adding snaps to something else, just center it where you want it to be. So I've put it on the circle and I press it down just a little bit where I can feel actually on the back side the prongs. That's important for a couple of reasons. It grabs hold and it doesn't slip that way. So once you have the snap located where you want it, the snap cap, what we do is we take the bottom piece of the tool and remember the indentation, take the bib still holding on to the snap even though it is in the fabric you can let go of it, it won't fall off, but I like to hold it anyway. Turn it over 
lay the snap underneath and slide it till it goes into the indentation on the bottom of the tool. The thing I like best about this snap setter tool is that you can move it around to get it out of the way of anything that you're adding a snap to. So that's super handy. So now the next thing that we'll do is add the center piece of the snap setter tool. And I do that by just slightly putting pressure on the edges just to make sure nothing moves, although I can touch here and feel the prongs. I know nothing is moving. Slip it on, push it down, and if you notice, although you probably can't see it, I can see that my center mark that I made showing me where to put my snap is in the center where this hole is. Now the hole is designed for you to then insert the socket the socket is got two parts to well it's it's raised on one side and we want to always make sure that the raised end goes down so just slip it in the hole the last part is installing the top piece simply put it on now we're ready to make sure that this snap stays secure and we do that by using a hammer this is a small craft hammer my sister-in-law gave me. You can use any type hammer that you like. I like this one just because it's small and I can handle it easily. So now what I do is just turn. I'm, everything is being held. Turn it, get your fingers out of the way, and watch your ears because I'm going to give this thing a whack. Actually, I'm going to give it three. Okay. Not only is it easy, it also helps you get rid of frustration sometimes, too. So now we just take it apart, remove the center piece, and voila! Perfectly installed snap. It will not come off. As a matter of fact, if you install it incorrectly, you'll have to get a screwdriver to ply it apart. So that's all there is to it. Super, super simple. So now we'll do the same thing for the other side. This time we'll have to add the open prong and the male end of the snap. So because the socket is on this side, we know that the male end will have to be on this side. We always start with the prongs, so we'll just turn it over, find the mark, center this, the pronged in over the mark, push it in just a little bit to make it grab, go back to the bottom piece of our tool, still holding it, it's against the flat surface, roll it till it gets over or push it till it gets over into the indentation, move it out of the way, slide the center piece on, you can feel in here and see that the prongs are right there and I'm still lined up perfectly. Next we add the male end of the snap and we add it with the raised up side up. Just drop it into the little hole. Then add the last piece. Again, you can move this tool whoops, all around to get it out of the way. Move your fingers. Watch your ears. I'm going to whack it. And ta-da! Simple, fast, easy, foolproof. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we hope that you'll come and visit our website, www.5starfonts.com. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.